Green Tea, the top 10 benefits. There are probably still some people who are not sure what green tea is. So here's the explanation. Green tea comes from the same plant as black tea. The difference is that green tea leaves have not withered or become oxidized. It originally came from China, but it is now consumed all over Asia, and, indeed, the rest of the world. It gets its name because when brewed this tea produces a green drink. You can drink it hot cold, depending on the weather. In winter, there's nothing like a cup or mug of hot this tea flavored with lemon, or at least a slice of lemon. You can add sugar, but honey is a much better, healthier sweetener. Allegedly, this type of tea is the healthiest drink on earth. It is bursting with antioxidants which can combat the cancer causing free radicals in our bodies. Antioxidants help to keep our skin youthful looking and help retain the skin's elasticity. They can stave off wrinkles and crow's feet around the eyes. A study published in 2013 found that this type of tea improves the blood flow and lowers levels of cholesterol. It can also help to prevent a number of health issues, including high blood pressure and heart problems. This almost miracle drink may also prevent Alzheimer's disease. It also helps to stabilize blood sugar levels in people who have diabetes. There isn't just one variety of green tea, but several. It is grown at high altitudes in the mountainous regions of East Asia, and these are higher than the ones where black tea grows. Japan's Sencha tea is highly prized, and it can certainly be of top quality. However, there are different grades of this tea and these are reflected in its price. You can buy the tea in the form of leaves, as well as in tea bags. For fresher green tea, choose whole loose leaves. They can be stored in an airtight container to preserve their freshness. Tannin is also present in green tea, so if this upsets your digestive system, avoid it. Tannin can adversely affect the levels of iron in the body. Don't drink green tea immediately after you have eaten food that is rich in iron, such as liver or broccoli. You might think that green tea is caffeine-free, but it isn't. So if you have problems with caffeine, give it a miss. Unlike when making black tea, you shouldn't pour still boiling water on the green leaves. Leave the water to cool a little before making your brew. You should really give this drink a try, and when you sweeten it with honey, your body will respond positively. Healthy Tips For more videos, don't forget to subscribe.